Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today, I want to tell you, I haven't been doing any videos for a while. It's because my eyes have suddenly had a problem with uh, seeing. My right eye, in fact, was uh, distorted. And that was due to the scarring in my eye. It was pushing up on the retina. And that was giving me kind of double vision, so I couldn't do any videos because of it or anything, or much less read anything. But I just went through the outpatient uh, procedure just two days ago. Went through some uh, irritation yesterday. Now, it's doing okay. It's not too bad. I'm not feeling no pain, so we're on the road to recovery. Uh, in order for it to actually, uh, you know, come back to normal, I would normally have to let the retina set, settle back down because the scarring was removed. That was actually pushing up on the retina and distorting my vision. And they corrected that, so it should take about a week anywhere to a week to about uh, two months in order to you know fully restore it but right now I can see pretty decent now I don't have no double vision now so that's a good thing okay and that's one of the main reasons as to why I haven't done any videos in a while okay so now we're getting past all that okay now let's talk about uh, the two different masks that I got here this one here is the unmasked version of Sam from Trick or Treat which came out in 2008 it is a film by Michael Doherty um, he also did a short film, and actually he is the creator of Sam itself, the, ca the character. Uh, he did a short film based on it, and then they kind of spawned a movie from that short film, and that's what you get in 2008. It's a really, really good film if you've never seen it. It's very Halloween slash horror related. It's, it's actually very, very cool. He also has done uh, Krampus, which came out in 2015. That's another cool movie. The practical effects in these movies are spot on. I just love the way they do their uh, practical effects. CGI is okay if you want realism and stuff. And you can get certain things out of CGI, but they have a tendency to be a little overly expensive, especially with these movies that are $250 million or even higher because of the CGI that goes into them and paying the actors and actresses ridiculous amounts of money to star in these films. Anyway, movies have gotten really expensive anymore because of all this stuff. But anyway, practical effects is the way to go. Okay? But anyway, uh, this is um, the unmasked version of Sam. Okay? I'm going to be talking about the actual burlap version of Sam. I just got that in a couple days ago. And obviously because of my eyes, I couldn't do anything until I got done with the procedure. And I was healthy enough to actually do it. So we're going to be doing it here in a second here. But anyway, as you can see, this is the unmasked version. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and let you know that this one here was in fact cre uh, sculpted by uh, Ru Russell Lukic okay now according to Amazon.com for the burlap bag version of it uh, they say Russell Lukic was the one that actually sculpted that and that's incorrect okay that could be a typo I don't know why they did that or maybe I looked at it wrong I don't know but um, it's actually uh, Bruce Spaulding Fuller he's the one that actually uh, sculpted the actual uh, burlap bag burlap bag version of Sam okay but anyway long story short let's pull him off and we're gonna put the burlap bag version onto the stand now it's not stuffed yet but I just want you guys to see what it looks like there we go so now what I'm gonna do here because this one here seems to be a little bit taller pull it up a little bit Okay, that should be better. Yep. All right. Okay, this one here. Now, I will tell you this about this particular mask before we get into this. The actual dimensions, according to Amazon, is 1 by 1 by 1, which probably means 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. So, obviously, it's a complete circle in some aspects. So, uh, the dimensions seem to be okay. Now, from here to the top of the head, is most likely 12 inches but 12 inches wide I don't think so okay but that's just me maybe they're talking about the circumference of the actual head itself and not the neck but anyway let's pull in close so you can actually see what it looks like now like I said this one is sculpted by Bruce Spaulding Fuller okay not Russell Lukic okay at least not to my knowledge put it that way okay now Now this mask in itself does weigh about roughly a pound. It's not really heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually shut it off and we're going to give you some close-up shots of this mask, okay? 
Now I won't put it on my face because of the eye surgery. I'm not going to take a chance with that. But anyway, I'll show you what it looks like. Up close and personal. Alright, now. Hold on one second guys, I gotta pull it out. What I use uh, to actually fill these masks anymore, I got styrofoam heads for these things, but there's a lot of, how can I say, um, a lot of discrepancies when it comes to using styrofoam heads. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up a bit so we can get some visual, okay. Um, if you don't have a proper base for your styrofoam head, and when you stuff these and stuff, they have a tendency to fall over because it can be a little top heavy. But, um, but for the most part, I use this right here, paper towels, they work just fine, okay? As long as it's completely colored, there is a way to dress them so you don't see the paper towels, like draping it with some kind of a black garment and then putting your mask on top of it, that's fine, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get a close-up look of this particular mask, okay? Let's start from the top up here. All right. It's got some very cool burlap uh, design to it. They did a really nice job on this. The stitching is really cool. All right. Now I do have another tripod, but it seems that the camera's um, um, insert to connect the tripod is kind of stripped out, so I left it on this tripod here. So I'm doing the best I can with this. All right, and that's what she looks like there, the stitching and everything. The buttons are very cool, okay? Now you'll notice that there is in fact slits here, as you can see. So you should be able to see out of it. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to give you any kind of crazy review based on how it looks and feels. I'm sure there's other videos out there that can explain that. All right, and that's what she looks like there. It's got a nice burlap bag uh, version to it. The rope in itself. Okay. As you can see right there. Very cool. I love the detail. Trick or Treat Studios, they do a fantastic job on the sculpts. But paint wise, because these are mass produced, sometimes they get a little faded and a little distorted in colors. And that's why you constantly are seeing um, people. Um, constantly repainting their masks and stuff because the colors are off. That's because it's mass produced. They're not going to be the same color each and every time. Now, I noticed one thing about this mask. It's got a sheen on it, like a nice little shine, almost gluey shine. I don't know if you can actually see it or not. You see that little shine? All right. The mask in itself is rather thick. I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, that's what she looks like right there. She's got a little certain amount of uh, thickness. This is a standard thickness for latex. This is, in fact, a latex mask with PVC, so it does have a little bit of durability to it. All right. So what I'm going to do is put this back on my paper towel dispenser. Get my hand out of there. All right. I'm going to put him back on the stand. Now, because of this mask being like it's 12 inches, I will have to stuff it a little bit in order to, for it to retain its shape. Now, as you can see, the paper towel thing is absolutely perfect for this. All right, so let me just readjust this camera. All right, there. Okay. All right, that's my uh, burlap bag version of Sam. And like I said, it's roughly 12 inches across, 12 inches down. I think it's a little bit uh, deeper in the 12 inch uh, department, okay? Because of the uh, the neck and everything. Maybe from the rope up is 12 inches because it's like a completely round. It's almost like a basketball, okay? So I'm thinking that's where they get the one by one by one on Amazon. Unless it's, again, they didn't know the actual dimensions to it. This thing here, like, there we go. All right, but anyway, that is the actual dimensions. Now, wearing it, I'm sure if you got a big head, this will fit perfect. Peripheral wise, uh, visual wise, I'm not 100% sure how it looks. There we go. 
Yeah, sometimes. I got to definitely concentrate on getting myself a background backdrop for for my uh, videos and stuff because this one here is okay, but it's got its limitations. Okay, I will tell you that. So I will have to make an actual stand, like a, almost like a square movie type uh, screen where you can actually put a backdrop and just push it up against the table and then bang. Okay, I'm going to definitely have to uh, do that one day. I got a bunch of wood out in the shed, so I'll do that one day. But anyway, this is my burlap bag version of Sam from the 2008 movie. Uh, one thing, all of the Trick or Treat Studios masks come with the tags. It tells you how to t preserve your mask, how to clean it. The best way to do that is to actually clean them with soap and water. You got to, you know, towel dry them. And make sure you get all the moisture off of them and let them air dry. Okay, that is the key thing about these masks. If you ever wear them. And you want to preserve them, and you know you're going to wear them a lot, you definitely want to go ahead and wash them, okay? Because you want to get off the, uh, the oils that come off your face, because that's what actually ruins your uh, mess over time. Also with styrofoam heads, I've said this in my other videos, and there are some people that question this. Styrofoam heads have a tendency, if you don't cover them with some kind of plastic or something, they will pull the moisture out of your masks and make them literally hard as a rock to the point that they could crack. All right, so it's always important if you're going to use styrofoam heads, cover them with plastic so they don't make a contact with your latex mask, okay? Now, that is a key thing there. Now, some people say, oh, well, I haven't really seen that done yet. There is this one YouTuber out there who actually put his werewolf mask on this um, styrofoam head roughly 10 years ago. Literally 10 years later, the entire mask is hard as a rock. He can't even get it off the uh, styrofoam head. Uh, that's because all the moisture is actually gone from the mask, okay, which is crazy. So that's why I say if you're going to use styrofoam heads, make sure you cover them with plastic. That's important, okay. You want to preserve your mask simply because you're investing a lot of money into your mask. You want to take care of them, okay. But like I said, cleaning-wise, a little soap and water, towel dry them, you know, pat them dry, and let them air dry before you put them on your uh, back on the stand and stuff like that. So that is important. Anytime you ever wear them, you might want to just go ahead and clean them. Unless you don't really care for them, but that's that's all well and good. It's your business, okay? But anyway, that is my Sam masks. Okay, I just got these, and I'm going to show you this other one here. There we go, Sam. Got them both, guys, okay? All right, but anyway, I'm going to end this here. Okay, eventually I will be uh, progressing in the video department. I want to do something, you know, completely different. I'm still trying to figure that part out because I pretty much touch base on all my masks unless I redo the entire mask collection and just upload brand new videos. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I do have some more stuff coming in from Big Bad Toy Store. It is in pre-order. I'm waiting for my NECA version of Elvira to come in. As well as my Kessler's Wolf from American uh, Werewolf in London. I definitely want to get that. And I'm waiting for that one to come in. And also Michael Myers from Halloween Kills. That NECA figure will also be coming in as well. Okay. So stay tuned for them once they come in. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell because I will be doing some more videos. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day.